Blog Talk Radio. Hi, everybody that's listening this afternoon on uh, Blog Talk Radio, on Conservative Cool Talk Radio. This is your host, Wayne Bradley. I am doing a different kind of broadcast today. I'm trying it uh, through the uh, phone lines. We're, everything else has been made through uh, voiceovers, so I'm hoping today's reception is going to come out a little better, a little clearer, and uh, we can actually really start getting a good broadcast in every week. Um, I'm thanking everyone that's out there listening to me right now. Uh, usually we do our shows in the evening, on Tuesday evenings at 10 p.m., but we're off to the, today we're going to do it, uh, you know, like I said, we're doing a test run for the next half hour, just trying to make sure we've got all the um, all the kinks worked out technically. So um, I, inc- I hope you're all listening, hope you're enjoying the show this evening. Uh, the topic of the show was... Uh, was was this the change that uh, we believe in? Is this the change that we were looking for? And quite frankly, with everything that's going on right now, I just think that I think that a lot of people are disappointed in what's going on. And so, and so as we as we go forward here, we we really want to figure out exactly uh, what we should do. I want to make sure everybody li- who's listening this afternoon is also sending all our prayers and our thoughts out to Haiti. Uh, I'm going to give you some information also so we can text over and um, actually help people out over there. Uh, we should not make this a political issue for either side. I've had a couple tweets from people asking me, uh, you know, how come they haven't criticized Obama the same way that they criticized George Bush. Uh, this is a very different situation as far as um, logistically this is a, is a lot tougher situation. They do not have the infrastructure that uh that New Orleans New Orleans had at that time. So uh although I can understand why people might ask about that, uh now is not the time for that. Now is the time for us to focus on helping those people out and uh let's not make everything a political issue. Uh so far the president has done everything he can do, I believe, to uh help the people out in Haiti. So uh let's let's commend commend him on that. Pray for all of our leaders, pray for the world that we're gonna do what we can to help uh Haiti be in a better situation. Um, I've heard Bill Clinton make the statement that this might be an, actually an opportunity to uh, start all over again. I don't know necessarily if that's what's going to happen, but uh, those people need our help, and I, you know, we need to uh, do what we can to help out. So I'm going to get some information on that. I uh, hope you're listening in. If you can, I just need one call or somebody to give me a call. Coco, if you're listening out there in Beverly Hills, give me a call, 347-996-3175. I just want to know, is uh, the reception, is everything sounding good? And I'm coming through crystal clear here again. I've been using uh, voiceover technology, and sometimes I think that's why things have been coming out kind of choppy on the uh, on the call in. So I appreciate everybody that's listening. Uh, very shortly, I think I'm going to also go on to uh, UStream, also just so we can do a little broadcast during the day. We like I said, we never get to do this, and a lot of people, uh, you know, during the day obviously are working and those kind of things. So uh, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to listen to the show. Uh, we're doing a half-hour broadcast here, and uh, I guess the, the first issue that we could talk about, and uh, I'll, I'll be brief on everything, again, this is just a test run, uh, is the actual uh, exemptions that were made for uh, the union workers on this health care bill. Now, me being in Detroit and have a lot of family and friends that are in the Detroit area and work for the, the big three, I am happy that those exemptions were done for them, but I can't help uh, we wonder how fair that is for the rest of uh, America and the rest of our workers out here. So um, the president of the a- AFL-CIO came up there and made some demands, and essentially he got them done. He said, if we don't get something done with this health care bill that's acceptable, uh, we'll take it back to 94, which is a reference to when they uh, did not support uh, the Democrats then and the Congress was taken over, and it was a Republican, you know, Newt Gingrich and those guys took over, and they don't want that to happen again. So uh, they threatened them with the thing that they can do, which is getting out and voting and, and supporting the Democratic president. So uh, that exemption was created within a day or two, which kind of gives you the idea of how things are getting done behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, that that is exactly what he promises he wouldn't do, which is uh, special interest. Uh, having more say than the average person. Now, again, I can understand why the unions would want that exemption for them because uh, it's, a, it's a bad idea to tax people more money for something that they're not bringing home income for and essentially uh, bringing less income into the, you know, to the hands of, of the you know, working class people. So I, I think the exemption is a good idea, 
but uh, I don't think it's fair for anyone else that doesn't work at, you know, doesn't is not fortunate enough to work for the unions or have someone on their side asking them for those same exemptions. So, um, it, again, it's something that he said that it was going to be different. Uh, I think, again, if he kept his original promise of promising to post everything on C-SPAN, a lot of these things probably would not have happened. So uh, there's a lot of broken promises, and I, I, can, I think that's been the focus uh, the media has not put any, you know, precedence on that. He promised that it would be on C-SPAN, and he made that part of his campaign, that, oh, no, we'll do this health care debate on C-SPAN. So no one will feel like they're getting railroaded. There's nothing being secretive, no secretive deals. And um, that has not been the case so far. So, uh, again, I, I'm usually I don't uh, just pick on, on one person, but right now, uh you know, those are the questions I would have for the president. Um, is why how come how can we haven't been able to watch all this on C-SPAN? And where are those promises that you you know weren't going to look out just for special interests? And you know, only people that have benefited so far in this administration has really been the banks, the automotive industry. They were bailed out. And again, in the area I live in, I'm I'm thankful for that because we couldn't afford to just have all these companies go out of business. But it seems like uh, the promises that he made that he was not going to just look out for special interests are not being kept. So um, I'm hoping that people are listening out there. I know it's the middle of the day, and I know I usually do my shows in the evening, but um, I'm hoping to get somebody out there. This is like I said, this is just like a test run. Um, if you're listening, I appreciate it. Uh, give me a call, 347-996-3175. I want to hear from you. I want to know how the reception is coming on the show this afternoon. Thank you very much. Check out my tweets here and see what's going on. All my friends, everybody that's following on Twitter, we uh, that's really uh, it's been a pleasure uh, doing this over the last few months. Really getting to know people from all over the place and hearing different opinions. You know, we don't always agree on everything, but I think that's what makes America so great is the fact that we don't have to agree on everything, and uh, we can still work together and do things together to you know to accomplish the goals, which is everyone wants, is which is a better America. So. Um, I'm just I'm hoping that we can move forward with that and do the right things, and I look forward to hearing from some callers this afternoon. Three four seven nine nine six three one seven five. Give me a call. I want to hear from you. Three four seven nine nine six three one seven five. Here on a Friday afternoon. Uh, like I said, I'm just doing a test broadcast, but th that's the issues that we were talking about. Change, and was this the change we were looking for? Um, I look forward to hearing from you. I've, I got some people coming into the office slash studio slash my home. So uh, if you hear any noise in the background, it's just family and friends walking in. I do this broadcast from home because, again, this is something that uh, is important to me. This is something I, I care passionately about, and I want to see our country moving in the right direction. I don't always just pick squarely on our president. He's the leader, so he, he will catch the brunt of this. But uh, all of our politicians together have worked together to put our country in this bind. So I think it's important that we sh spread that blame around sometimes and also, uh, you know, like I said, hold them all accountable for, for the mistakes they're making. I'm going to uh, also go on Ustream for a minute also so if we can get some people on there, that would be awesome too. So give me a call, 347-996-3175. I just want to know how the uh, reception on the show is going so far. Post some messages out here. Give me a couple call in. Give me a call. Let me know. I'm just trying to figure out how the sound sounds this afternoon on this show. Again, we're not uh, not on, on air for what we'll consider a normal show, an hour-long show. We're just on for a half an hour trying to uh, test out all the sound quality. Again, I've uh, switched from using the voiceover technology to just using the regular phone again. And hopefully that will work out better as far as transmissions and uh, uh, clear broadcasts. Give me a call. I got a good laugh earlier this uh, this morning when I posted a comment about, I guess, Obama kind of realized now who's boss uh, once 
uh, the president of the AFL-CIO came up to uh, Washington and let them know what they were going to do if they didn't get those votes. So uh, it's been a very interesting week in, in D.C. And I guess the more I look at this, the more I realize on why we couldn't get uh, this this bill voted on on TV. Let me, uh, I got a call here. Caller, you're on the air. Caller? Can you hear me? Hey, caller, can you hear me? You're on the air. All right, Tom, can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me, Tom? Let's see, we got Tom on the phone. Give me a call. All right, I might have lost that call there. We're going to try it again. Um, I'm just trying to, again, we're working this from a different switchboard and everything. So give me a call. If I missed your call, I appreciate you trying to call in. Got uh, 15 minutes left, and I just want to get, get a call from somebody so I can know how this uh, sound quality is. Uh, Vanessa, if you're in Baltimore and you're sitting around there, give me a call. Coco out in Beverly Hills. All my friends out in Texas, Las Vegas, I want to hear from you. Give me a call, 347-996-3175. I'm, going to, I'm waiting for time to give me a call back here. Hopefully I can catch your call. All right, I lost that call. I'm hoping that uh, my reception is coming in good. I'm about to go on Ustream also. Maybe we can get a couple friends on Ustream. So here we go. And we are live now also on Ustream. So uh, if you if you can't hear me, give me a call, 347-996-3175. I'm going to also send out a tweet now that I'm live on, on Ustream. So uh, again, uh, I think the biggest issues that we've had so far has been the, it's been the lack of transparency. Uh, this health care debate has been slowly drawn out. Uh, it was something that in the beginning they were trying to push through very quickly, and it didn't get done that way. And so now at this point, uh, I, I feel like they're just trying to pass any kind of bill. So uh, see, we got some viewers on UStream now. So how you doing? Thanks for uh, logging in to Conservatives Cool TV while we're also doing the blog radio show. Uh, if you can hear me on blog talk radio, I want you to give me a call just to let me know what the reception is sounding like. Uh, 347-996-3175. I want to hear from you. Give me a call. We got a we got one viewer out in, on in uh watching this on Ustream here. Hope that everybody's enjoying the show. This is just a test run again. I'm just putting uh doing this test run to test the audio for uh the the blog radio show. Hi, we got a couple more viewers on Ustream. How you doing this afternoon? I'm also doing the live chat so maybe we can all uh interact here. I am Can anybody give me a call if you're either watching on Ustream or listening through Blog Talk Radio? Give me a call at 347-996-3175. Again, I'm just trying to uh, test all the uh, technical equipment here and make sure we're running a good show. Uh, we're constantly doing updates to uh, to make the, the, the show quality better, so I appreciate anybody that's listening, or listening on the show, whether on Ustream or on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, give me a call, 347-996-3175. Uh, We've only got about 15 minutes left on Blog Talk Radio, but again, this is just a test show. Um, I'll, I'll speak for a few minutes on the whole, on the whole idea of the transparency issue. Uh, the reason why we would have wanted the transparency, obviously, is so we can see exactly what's going on and exactly how we can, you know, the things we do and don't like and see who's actually making these rules and who's asking for these different things to... Uh, you know, to these rules again. The union can come in and sit down exactly with the boss and tell them what they want done in this health care bill, and there's no problem with that. No one really seems to have an issue with that. 
Uh, it needs to be someone out there that's representing all the people in America. Who can we all rely on that's going to help us get something resolved? So uh, I appreciate people listening in here on uh, Twitter, and I appreciate everybody looking on Ustream. Uh, we're just try- doing a test run here. This is a Friday. I uh, appreciate you listening in. appreciate you checking in. Um, the biggest issues here of the day, obviously, again, we want to send all our, our thoughts and prayers to Haiti. I'm going to get you that text information, so if you're listening, uh, you can send a text to support the, the relief, vic- the relief uh, efforts in Haiti. Uh, you can call AmeriCares right now at 1-800-486-4357. Again, that's a way to uh, help help with the whole the relief efforts in Haiti. They all need our help. Uh, let's not make this a political issue. Everyone needs to work together to help out in that, in that respect. Um, let me know how the, the broadcast is sounding on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, you can go to Blog Talk Radio, Conservative is Cool, and link on and click on that link and listen to the show live. Uh, also, all my old shows are on demand. You can download them onto your podcast. So uh, it's a great opportunity for people to, if you miss the shows, to be able to go ahead and listen to them later on. So... Uh, I appreciate anybody that's listening now. Give me a call. Uh, give me a call. Three four seven nine nine six three one seven five. Tom, I saw you tried to call. I appreciate you giving me a call. Maybe if I can, uh, you know, if I can catch your call, I'll take it again. But I uh, appreciate the one caller that called in earlier. Like I said, we're just doing a test run of the show. Give me a call. Three four seven nine nine six three one seven five. What do you think so far of the uh, change the administration has brought, and are you happy with it? Um, I will not, at this point, cannot give him a grade. I would say incomplete at this point because he hasn't really done much. But the things that I have seen are um, are, are different, and they're and it's and I'm not necessarily comfortable with it. And again, just some of the things we're just trying to rush through the idea of um, passing a bill. So I hope that's not the case. I hope that he's really out here trying to make a difference for uh, for people. Uh, trying to help people with the health care bill, but at this point it just seems like it's another political um, political tool to show people that you know he's the president as opposed to really helping people. And that's what we really want to do with this bill. There's no question that we need to um, need to do some things to help people out and with the health care debate, but we also have to uh, do our best to uh, do what's right for the whole country as a whole. We don't want to put our, uh, take a step forward, take two steps back. So. I uh, appreciate everybody that's watching on Ustream and also on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, I never really have any issues with my Ustream broadcast. Uh, so far, so good with that. Um, but I have not had what I would call the best broadcast yet on, on Blog Talk Radio, so I'm constantly uh, trying to upgrade that. Give me a call. Let me know how this, the broadcast is. I'm going to also go on Twitter and ask anybody how the sound on the show. 347-996-3175. That's the call-in number, 347-996-3175. Thank you for everybody that's watching also on Ustream right now. Um, I'm in, in the office. Like I said, we're doing a test run. I just really want to get this audio right so we can provide the best uh, and informative show. Uh, in February, I'm looking forward to doing some new things, uh, like really upgrading how we do the show, adding some different features to it. Uh, we're going to be reaching out to more guests uh, over the next month, trying to bring in people who we were, who we think represents uh, the best interest of the people in America, leaders going forward, people that uh, really want to help the you know the people of America, and not just putting special interest in big business ahead of everyone else. So, uh, give me a call. The Blog Talk Radio, we've got this for another half, uh, another 10 minutes here. I'm going to go to some tweets and see if anybody's listening out there. Let me know how my sound is. Audio sounds pretty good. Thanks, Dwight Wannabe. I appreciate that. Uh, like I said, we're just using something different today, so I wanted to make sure that the um, my audio is good. So I'm not coming in choppy. I appreciate that for you uh, letting me know that. That's Like I said, we're trying to find the best mix of uh using, you know, what's available and, again, using, you know, the, the best sound. So I appreciate that. Um, if anyone else is listening, give me a call, 347-996-3175. Um, I want to take a call also to see if I can handle the audio with the calls as well and also see how that works on uh, use, use, uh, Ustream. I'm trying to get the best interactive experience with people watching the show, uh, make you feel like you're part of the show, which you really are because you can give a call. 
at any time, and uh, we can we can talk about it. We can go on chats. Uh, so I appreciate everybody that's going on the show. Uh, if you get a chance, go to my website, conservativescool.com. Uh, that is where you can get all your latest news information. We do comedy relief on there. We, uh, we try to do things to enrich uh, people, make it make their day better, not necessarily all bad news. Uh, we do a lot of different blogging topics and polls, and uh, it's, a, it's a real nice website. It's been up, updated over the last month to really have some nice new features and make it a lot more navigating, uh, easy to navigate. So I appreciate everyone uh, that's been to the website. It's been seen in over 35 countries. Uh, we're getting about 1,000 to 1,500 uh, hits a month, so a uh, relatively new site, but it's getting a lot of uh, coverage and a lot of people are seeing it, so I appreciate uh, everyone that does a Follow Friday and forwards me on to people and having, uh, I've got a lot of friends, over 14,000 followers on Twitter, and I call them friends because, uh, again, we're all in this together, we're all trying to make this a better country, better world, so um, I really appreciate anybody when they when they call in or when they tweet. Like I said, we're just having uh, open dialogue, and I think that um, our government can learn a lot uh, from the normal people about how we communicate. And if we don't, if we have an issue with a person, we can just say it and uh, start stop living by just polls. So uh, appreciate everybody that's watching, either on UStream or through listening on Blog Talk Radio. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the advice on on the sound here. I appreciate it. You said the feed stream is great, no chop at all here. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna have to consider doing more stuff on UStream because it seems like audio wise uh, we get uh, it doesn't have any issues. Um, the only other thing would be trying to set up maybe a 1-800 number or something for people to call in and uh, be able to call in and we can do it that way. So. Um, I'll be looking at that also. Sometimes I, I like doing it from the radio because I don't have to, you know, you know, I could be in a t-shirt and jeans, you know, I'd look all, you know, presentable on TV. I might feel like being bummy that day. So uh, that Ustream is, is 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 cool, but I like also doing the radio show. Uh, I appreciate the the feedback. Thank you very much, the white wanna be. All right, well, it's been. Cl- Slow on the airwaves today. I got one caller, but I lost him. Uh, thank, thank you, time for trying to give me a call in here. Uh, if anyone, like I said, I would like for someone to give me a call just to test out the audio on the actual phone and how I can uh, make that work. Uh, make sure everything sounds good. Three four seven nine nine six three one seven five is the live call in number. So uh, if you're listening, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, uh, Ustream. Thank you for everyone watching on here also. Uh, give me a call, 347-996-3175. We've got about five minutes left on the show. I'm um, just trying, like I said, test out the audio, make sure everything sounds good. And, again, if, uh, if there's any suggestions, I'm all, I'm all ears on try how we can make the show better. So give me a call, 347-996-3175. Watching me on Ustream, thank you very much for watching me on here. Um, again, I'm trying to make the best uh, interactive experience for everyone watching or listening to the show. And uh, in the future, again, we'll, we'll be doing more to bring, like I said, a better interactive experience. Thanks a lot for uh, watching also on Ustream. Here, We've got about five minutes left on the show. Um, I was hoping to get a call in just so I can handle the, handle the uh, actual uh, call in here, but I'm going to probably have to go without that. Five minutes left. Let me see if I'm going to have, have to have somebody call in just to, to ring in. Hold on, real quickly. Three four seven nine nine six three one seven five is the call in number.
See, I get more reactions during the uh, evening time than uh, during the day. I guess a lot of people are at work, and, and including it being a Friday, people are probably doing their best to not be at a desk sitting here all day. So uh, I appreciate anybody that does listen and take the time out to follow me on Twitter and listen to all the different uh, rants and quotes that I go through in a day. Um, again, I try to be even-handed with my criticism, and I don't try to just go after one person. Um, President Obama is the leader, so he'll always he'll bear the brunt of it, just like uh, in any other leadership position. Uh, the boss is usually the person that the responsibilities will fall on one way or the other. So um, I, it, that's just the way the ball bounces. He be he wanted to be the president, so sometimes it's like a starting quarterback in the NFL. Uh, you're going to be the bad guy unless you're winning, and, uh, and that's the, that's the, the reality of the situation. Uh, let me go on here on Twitter and see if we got anything else. <laughs> so it's okay, Dwight. I appreciate. It. Like I said, I, that's why I've been doing the show in the evening anyway. Is because um, I know it's a lot harder to get people calling in during the day, and um, I might actually try to do it on a Saturday. See if we can get some more people calling in. Maybe on a Saturday morning, everybody's in their pajamas and chilling out. They might have more to say. But I appreciate. I appreciate you uh, even checking me out here. Thanks a lot. Um, like I said, this is just a test show. I'm trying to uh, see the get the quality of the show here. So. I appreciate it. Uh, let me see how much time we have left here. I haven't got any calls today. I'm kind of a little disappointed in that. I want to, if anybody's listening, give me a call, 347-996-3175. Lady Gurr, where you at out there in Alaska and all my people out there, give me a call. Just like I said, I wanted to just give it a test to see how it works when I'm actually receiving a call here. Tell my wife to make a call me. Three minutes left. I, haven't re- I need. I wanted to get one call here. If you can, just give me a call so I can test out the uh, phone system with people calling in and how well does it sound. Uh, let's see here. Post, post one more tweet on here. Coco, if you're listening out there, give me a call in Beverly Hills. I want to hear from you just to uh, see how everything's working out here. Three minutes left, so I don't think we're going to... Appreciate time for trying to give me a call in there. We uh, missed your call. Oh, there we go. We got a call. Dwayne, it's your friend from Facebook and Twitter, Andy. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. I'm just calling to show my support, let you know I'm listening. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I've, I've been trying. I get, it sounds good now that I'm talking to somebody. I didn't know how it was sounding. Uh, how's my audio going on? on, on it's it's okay. You know, I'm at work, so I just had you on my computer, so it, it's okay. down low. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate you calling in. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to uh, get all the audio together here. So are you, you watching me on Ustream or are you watching me uh, on Blog Talk Radio? Blog Talk, yeah. Okay, great. So that so have you have you heard everything? Has it been not too it, much because I wanted to log in earlier, and you know you don't want to get in trouble for for doing what I'm doing at work, but I heard you saying no one's called. I was like, okay, I'm going to sneak in a call real quick. Well, I, I appreciate you calling in real quick, and uh, again... And I'll, if, I'll call again, and, and we'll get into a good debate. You know, all of your, your friends on Facebook, I've gotten into a couple little banters back <laughs> and forth about global warming and, and, and just all kinds of fun stuff, so... Yeah, that's what we like to do. We like, you know, it would be no fun if everyone just agreed with each other. So of course, it's all, of I course. Like, I like to get as long as we do it respectfully, I think it's 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 good to debate and talk about different points of view. Exactly, it's very important to do it that way. So, um, well, that's I, I really do appreciate you calling in because you were, you were my, I got I had one other call and I lost them, so I wasn't able to. Oh uh, no, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's so okay. I, I mean, like I said, we're just doing a test run today. I appreciate you listening in. Good, good. Um, and if I'm, you get a I'm chance, donating. Well, you get to check out the Ustream broadcast, too, because I'm doing it. I, I give both. So in case okay. one of them is not, Ustream has been uh, clear broadcasting all the way through. So uh, Okay, I, I, I will check that out. And I just want to let all of your listeners know I'm, I'm donating. I got paid today, so I'm going to donate a little bit to Haitian Relief and just encourage everyone to, to do the same. God bless you for doing that, and uh, I think everybody needs to do that. Again, I was telling someone earlier, let's not make that a political issue. Everybody needs to, Haiti needs to help. 
Exactly. It's a people issue, definitely. Well, thanks again for calling in. My show is about to go off in 10 seconds. I appreciate you're you welcome. calling in. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye-bye.